What's good, man? How y'all doing today? Coming through with another daily check-in, man. Today was one of those days. Today was really one of those days. Want to check in with y'all, see what kind of day y'all had today, too. Kind of had a message I wanted to deliver as well. How y'all feeling, man? I appreciate y'all joining my live. Leave me a heart if you join the live. Just leave a heart below. Leave a like, man. It helped the algorithm of the show. Share it to your news feed. Share it to your story. Just help the algorithm of my platform, and I definitely, definitely appreciate it. I appreciate y'all joining my live. What's up, bro? How you feeling, man? What's good? How your day been? How your Monday been? How y'all feeling today, man? Leave leave an emoji that describes what type of day y'all had today. If y'all, whenever y'all pop into the to the live, man, leave an emoji to describe what type of day y'all had today. What's up, Rosalina? What's good? That's good, bro. You had a good day, man. Cherish the good days. Cherish the good days. It's actually good in every day. We just have to search and find it. What's poppin', man? Y'all join the live, man. Y'all leave me a heart or leave me an emoji to describe what type of day y'all had today. I'll tell y'all about mine. Man, I woke up feeling... <laughs> look at Shay say. Um, I woke up feeling so alone, man. Like, it ain't even, like, today. Like, for the last little while, y'all, I've been feeling so alone, man. So alone, like... It's like I'm doing shit by myself. It's like I don't have no help doing the things that I'm really trying to do. You know, I know it's people out there support, man, but I know those people have, you know, their their own lives that they have to worry about, man. And, and I'm just trying to figure out, like, why isn't more people helping me? Like, I was looking through my Facebook group, and, you know, I built a community, a community for people to learn and collaborate about fixing their own credit, you know, sharing tips, sharing things and the only people posting in the group really is me and the company credit repair hacks like literally those are only two people posting in the group and i'm like damn all of y'all must be credit experts or something like all of y'all must know what y'all doing if y'all ain't got questions what y'all join the group for if y'all not asking questions and seeing what's going on or asking questions uh, to, to see how to do certain things or, or if you know how to do it, providing that insight to the group, man. I just, it just baffled me. I went weeks and weeks and weeks and I had one other person besides me and that company credit repair hack that left a message. And I'm like, damn, you know, like in my business, it's just me. I don't have an assistant anymore at this moment, right? It's just me like, damn, bro. Y'all don't understand like what type of work that I'm putting in. The type of work that I'm putting in, and it's like, I don't really have nobody helping me push this shit. And it just frustrates me, man. I see people resharing, you know what I'm saying, so so many bullshit-ass posts all the time. I, I mean, I get it. People get on internet on the internet to be entertained, but, like, I post shit that actually help people. You know what I'm saying? I post shit that actually can inspire people to go do something great. That fight that y'all reposting and sharing a million times ain't finna help nobody. It ain't finna help nobody. It ain't doing nothing but spreading hate. Spreading fucking hate across the world. Like, what's what's going on? I feel so alone. I feel like I'm the only one that really want happiness and peace for the world right now. Like, everybody is so content with their life and what they doing. Like, nobody gives a fuck about the world being a better place. You know what I'm saying? And it makes me wonder. Like, sometimes I really can do a lot of shit. I really can do a lot. I can do some scamming shit. I can do some shit that ain't serving humanity at all. I can do all of that shit and get rich. But I choose to do the things that helps people, like credit and real estate, like mental health and mindset. Those are things that I talk about. But people don't give a shit about those. Why people don't give a shit about the shit that really matter in life? Somebody help me out. That's the type of day I had today. Frustrated as fuck. Nobody sharing my polls. Nobody leaving comments like, bro, I, look, I've been grinding so hard for this shit. And it's like, I'm doing this shit by myself. I don't have nobody calling me and checking on me, asking me how the business is going. Is it, is it any help they can provide? I don't have nobody doing that for me. It's me. And that shit gets fucking lonely and frustrating at times. Like, damn, sometimes I don't even ask for y'all to pay for shit. I just ask for y'all to show some support, share it to somebody that need it. 
It's people that complain about their credit and want to buy a house all the time. Share my post to them. Comment my, my pages to them. Share my YouTube links. Go subscribe to my YouTube channel. It costs nothing to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I made a post the other day, and I'm grateful for it. I think I'm up like three or 400 shares, but it's just amazing how I make that post. And it, it really costs nothing to click a button, click a button, and... And, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm sure y'all subscribe to Shade Room. I'm sure y'all subscribe to some bullshit that really don't matter for y'all. Grow the fuck up. Some people live to be entertained and then complain about being broke. Somebody make it make sense. They get on internet and get entertained all day long. Hoo hoo, ha ha, giggles, all that shit. And then complain about being broke the very next day. Go do something. Do something different in your life. Stop sharing the fights and all that shit every goddamn day. Oh my God, y'all are so frustrating at times. And the, and it's coming from love because I really want to see people do better. I really want people to succeed. I really want people to make a way for their families. I really want people to create generational wealth. So it's coming from a place of love, but y'all got to do better. Y'all doing the same goddamn things every day. Y'all, y'all like, you, you, you got sons. A lot of y'all have sons growing up in the world. And y'all are, are, are reposting and sharing all that bullshit when y'all should be re resharing the people that's actually inspiring something. You know your kids look up to the people they see on the internet. Your kids look up to the people that they see on the internet. That's the biggest form of media right now. The biggest form of media right now is the goddamn social media. And y'all sharing bullshit every day. Y'all should be sharing these people with these motivational speeches. Y'all should be sharing people, teaching people how to fix their credit and real estate and learn stocks and start businesses. But y'all rather share bullshit. Y'all lame as... Y'all really are lame as shit, for real. You need to subscribe to the real superstars in the world and stop cherishing people that ain't really doing that. Them ain't the real superstars. Them ain't the people that's going to change your family. Them people don't get a shit, a shit about you. Damn. Y'all annoying as fuck at times. I swear to God, it ain't all of y'all. I swear anybody that's on this live right now know if they show me some kind of support, they know I express my gratitude to them. I will go out my way to express my gratitude for people that actually support me. It's for all of y'all, the rest of y'all. that Y'all know who y'all are, complaining and bitching and griping about being broke and ain't doing shit to better nothing. Sharing, and that's, the, and that's another thing. Let me run on that. Asking me for discounts for my services. But don't ask Gucci for no discount. Gucci ain't cheap. People will go spend their last on fucking Gucci and Prada and ask me for a discount for fucking free credit repair. <laughs> I, I, I partnership with a company called Credit Repair Hacks, y'all. The credit repair is free. You do have to pay your credit months, man, right? People complaining about paying $29 a month for, 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 for free credit repair. But we'll go spend thousands on Gucci and Prada and Chanel. And complain about being broke the next very fucking day, bro. Y'all make it make sense for me. Somebody make that shit make sense to me. Oh, people so fucking annoying. And I just ask God to just surround me with people that's not like that. Surround me with people that are positive, that, that's out here helping people, sharing the wealth, the things that they know, spreading positivity, good energy. You know what I'm saying? Like, surround me with those people. Somebody had made a post after I made my post and said, we're going to run ourselves crazy hoping people live life based on our standards. No, I'm not going to run myself crazy because I really don't care that much to run myself crazy. I'm going to make sure I'm straight first. But I do want to see people be great. And excuse me for wanting to see people be great. Excuse me for wanting to, to bring out the best of you. You know, excuse me for wanting to show express real love to my people. Excuse me for identifying an area that you can improve in and I give some of my advice because I done been through that. I done been broke before. I done been in y'all's shoes before. But y'all don't hear me though. 
people made me fucking sick sometimes. And I, and I, and I mean that. And I really had to say that because I've been holding that shit in for a long time now. People truly start to make me sick sometimes. But I still love y'all. But y'all got to do better. Y'all really got to do better and I'm out, man. How y'all feeling today? Spent thousands on clothes and living in the slum. That's what I'm saying, bro. How you going to go spend thousands on designer and, and, and you broke and you complaining about it? Now, I get it. Sometimes, you know, things get hard. But don't be complaining about shit when you out here making decisions like that. I ain't got no sympathy for that shit, bro. Yeah, because oh, I'm in the city. I'm in the city. What's up, Kier? What's up, y'all? I appreciate y'all joining my live. I appreciate y'all sharing my live. And that's crazy. Let me tell y'all something. I got on here and ran it. I got on here and ran it. And, and, and the live is doing better than it, than it, than it did when I do credit. Three credit classes. I have 10 people on there. Right now, I'm 20 plus people on live right now because I'm talking about some drama. Look how y'all are, man. That's what y'all attracted to. So I'm finna give y'all that. I'm finna give y'all drama. That's what y'all want. That's what y'all want. Nah, I ain't gonna sell my soul and do none of that shit that's out of my character. But y'all should be ashamed of y'all. So y'all addicted to fucking drama. And you're gonna keep drama in your life if that's what you like. If you want wealth, then surround yourself with wealth. Talk to people that have wealth. Listen to people that have wealth. Entertain yourself with wealth. If you entertain yourself with bullshit, you will become bullshit in your life. I hate to say it, but that's just what it is. If you become infatuated with poverty and poverty mindset and poor people and do poor things, then you're going to remain fucking poor. Wake up. Your life don't change until you do. You have to make the change. And if you never make the change, you're going to have the same old life. And that's facts. Appreciate y'all letting me come vent to y'all today. Happy Monday. Money Talk Mondays. As I always say, it's super important to release how you feel. Don't hold that shit in. That's where depression comes from. Because you're deep pressing, suppressing all of your emotions inside. I'm going to let mine up. And y'all frustrated me today, so I can't, I can't do that. So I appreciate y'all for allowing me to do that. Yo, we're going to have a better day tomorrow, though. Today was cool. I found a lot of good moments in my day. But tomorrow will be a 100 times better. And if you listen to the end of this message, I appreciate you and I appreciate your support. And I'm sending love and abundance your way. Peace, love, and light to everybody's life. Y'all have a good night. I'll talk to y'all tomorrow.